It's a terrific night for hockey in the city of Denver, where fans have streamed in wearing jerseys with a Bigfoot imprint on the shoulder. They are fans of the Colorado Avalanche. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Jonas Enroth years ago replaced Patrick Laleem as the backup in Buffalo. His first two wins in the NHL were shutouts. Pretty impressive start. He's in goal. Luongo's the man at the other end of the ice for the Flames. Wins and losses seem out of balance here, so correction has to begin with a first step. Maybe tonight is it. The Flames have looked like a perfect hockey team over the last 10 games. Whether it's their special teams, their five-on-five -five play, their goaltending, they've had the answer to any question, any opponent. Oh, what a glove he's got there. And we're happy to have Ray Ferraro with us as well. He is down near the ice. Luongo's done all that he can to help his team win. He's got an above average save percentage. They just don't give him enough help, and as a result, they have a losing record. Always appreciate hearing what's going on down there, Ray. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. They win it. One timer. Let's it fly. Score! And a meaningful silence brought on by these guys. It's not how hard you shoot it, but it's the release that counts, and he snaps it home. Enzo, this has got to be a great shot because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. The Flames on the road have picked up the all-important first goal. Calgary's got that one. Now what? Pass attempt to Crosby. One timer. Score! Sharp skating ability got him to the high slot. He was ready with a stick on the ice and one timed it into the back of the net. Crosby's able to clear open ice and he lays a sweet saucer pass on the shooter's stick. Face off win, and now what will they do with it? And it's fed back to Arvey. That plays offside, and so back to center ice for the face. Under three minutes played here in the first. Calgary's advantage in this game has just been enhanced. It's a pair of goals. And a good save there. Laid on to Perot. Puck is thrown to Franzen. Oh, a great cut. Jostled and ridden right into the turnbuckle. That area of the ice has become much safer since the rule changes. Got it all. That was all positioning right into his glove. Enroth's athleticism was tested on that wrist shot. That was an excellent scoring chance. The Flames prevailing on the faceoff. It's tipped. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. Oh, there's no question. That puck was deflected and a good stop. This thing changes direction. It's an excellent stop for the goaltender. Solid clean win. Snapping a pass to Matthias. One timer. Got in the way of that one, too. Diagonally to Raymond. Desperate race to get him. Superb save by Luongo. Calgary is shifting gears as they travel through center ice. Park to paddle to side. Pitching this one to Matthias. Moves up along the boards. Flings it. Another solid pad save. Piece of it. Rebound. Looking to Marshan. 
And possession in his own end by Shea Weber. Passing one off now. Oh, can he catch him? What a save by Luongo. Hands over to Kane. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. Directing that one to Crosby. Shooting. Score. Three straight goals. Crosby's quick flick of the wrist put this puck in from the high slot. The butterfly's become a default position for the goaltender, Edzo. And while the shot is nice, he's down in that butterfly position way too quickly. Under eight minutes remaining, Calgary's offense continues to hum. Their advantage is three. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. In the, he beat everything but the post. He's got a chance. Marvelous save. No time on that one. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. And he holds on. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Calgary's quick on the draw. Got his glove on it. He covers, and a face-off will follow. Colorado's fans sitting behind their net got up and showed their respect by bowing to him after that huge save. Good face-off win. One-timer. Shoot. Saved off the mask. Fires. Score! Four unanswered goals. McGinn's decision was pretty easy. This low in a slot, just snap it off, and he did. Colts displayed some sweet hands. That's a soft dish right on the tape. Calgary's collected another victory on the faceoff. Shoots one. Got in the way of that one. Freezes play. And Roth's save is a good one, but defensively, they cannot give up another odd man rush. A little under four minutes left in the first. The Flames fully in control thanks to that last goal, a four goal lead. Calgary's kick save, outstanding. Now it's directed to Thompson. Loose puck gathered in the defensive zone by Klein. A shot back to the point. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Marvelous save by Enron. Nice play by the goaltender to freeze it up and get a whistle. There's not many saves easier than this for the goaltender. He gets his blocker on it. He's in good position, and he deflects this away. They win the draw. Got a piece of that one. one minute left. They will get a breather. Breakaway chance. Masterful save. Stone him cold. He usually scores on those. A hammer shot from the point. Ring ten bells for that save. We have seen 20 minutes come and go. It was a long 20 minutes for one team. They didn't score, they gave up a bunch. There are two periods to go, and that's a good thing for at least one team. Overwhelmed in the shots on goal totals in that period. A huge 18 for Calgary and six for Colorado. The Abs were counting on a tremendous performance in goal. They counted wrong. More in a moment. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Colorado is lucky to still be in this game after the first period. 
They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. Taken over now by Kessler. Oh, that's a nice cut pass. Let's see what happens. The Flames break away. Score! He's got his second. He looked to be cherry-picking in behind the defense, and it worked. He found himself on a breakaway. Enzo, good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk-in. The Flames have added to their lead. They are heavily out shooting the opposition, and we look at the opposition bench and do not see a white flag yet. The puck is free, now taken up by Chara. Simple play, made well, strong defense. The abs continue to probe up the wing. Just got enough. Moving it to Sharp. Takes it up that side. They've got a two-on-one. Pass to the slot. And a good save in the goal crease. To Kane. Pitching it to Pominville. Pushing it on through the neutral zone. And gotten and neutralized by Martin. And that's an offside. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. A little under five minutes have transpired here in the second. Calgary's game plan has worked perfectly. Boy, they couldn't have dreamed they'd get this many, though. Great stick there. Possession taken up by Smith. Right into the slot. Club. Trying to go to Yonker. The Flames up the wing, lug the puck. Two on one opportunity. Pass. Score! Enroth's in almost perfect position. I say almost because the shot's better. It just beats him. to the bench substitution made the abs coaching staff just debated a couple of seconds before they pulled their starter calgary's got an enormous lead and it's in the second period hopefully they don't go daydreaming now neutralized face off win calgary's up the wing setting things up brings a shot Score! If you want to generate offensive opportunities, you have to get inside the face-off dots. you got to find those soft spots in the defense in order to generate and score goals like that. Gibson's not able to cover up for the open net here. The shooter's got enough room, Enzo, to dive into the net himself. Calgary's got a large lead in this game. Let's see if they can build on it or whether they'll start to get conservative. Cranks a shot. Oh, a save. Calgary's in their own end, setting things up. To Marshan. Heads along the boards. Shoots. Score! Especially in the offensive zone, if you want to isolate a defender, you got to get people moving over to the puck carrier to give him more options. That's exactly what happened on this play. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. Calgary's got another face-off win. Ranks one. Block that. Up corralled by McGinn. And he lets it go. Pass cut by the offense. Nine minutes, 47 seconds. Keeps it going back behind the net. Score! You get this close to the goaltender, the puck on your stick, you gotta snap it quick. 
Whoa, it looks like his trapper's got a hole in it there, Edzo. He gets beat low to the glove side. The Flames have gotten another goal on a huge night for them. We have seen this a lot. They're rolling. Solid win at center ice. Now what? It's a three on two. How will they defend this? Wonderful save. What a skill level there. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Fires. Give that goalie credit for another. Closed off effectively and sealed. Pass attempt to Franzen. Hammers it. Outstanding save with a glove. That slight hesitation by the shooter allowed the goaltender to make a beautiful glove save. Calgary's accelerating ahead through the neutral zone. It's a three on two as they move in. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Score! If you really think about it, at some point the puck's got to get through the middle of the ice. The area in between the two face-off dots, if you get there, you're going to get rewarded. This shot just overpowers him. He's in the right position. He stops a big chunk of it, but not enough as the puck's in the goal. Calgary's lead is already enormous. Will he just sit on this now and get the horn at the end of the second? To Sharp. Sharp's creating chances for his teammates with two assists so far. Colorado is controlling the play in their own end. Worked again to Kane. Puck is thrown to Muzzin. Up the wing. Flings it. Great glove save. Snapping a pass to Sharp. Carries it up the wing. Wrist shot. Terrific glove save. Gets play stopped. That shot's a muffin. The goalie can stop that all day long. Beat him on that one. One-timer, save. You gotta battle through a screenplay. Great glove save, and he keeps it. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Gibson's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Face-off win here. One timer. He got his pad on it. Steps between the circles. And the period comes to a close. Wow, what a finish. Colorado's goaltender has had one of those nights, and so this score is lopsided, and we will return after he gets a rest and these work. 40 minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? The Flames have had their way offensively, putting up a bunch of goals here through the first two periods of play. Let's see how they play it the rest of the game. Do they sit back, or do they look to add to their comfortable lead? Rister, big bad save. Taken on by Kane. Propelled to Chara. And possession reestablished by Muzzin. Gathered in by Sharp. And the loose puck gathered in by Muzzin. Pitching this one to Kessler. The refs caught something, a delayed call here. Great shooting position. Huge stop by Luongo. The shoot. Score! Mm -hmm. Got to get to this area of the ice. Luongo's beat cleanly here on the low glove side. He dropped into the butterfly. The puck just zipped on by him before he could get his glove down to make the stop. Colorado's gotten one. They still trail by a whopping score. 
There's not a lot of time left in the game, but maybe they can fine tune a few things for next time. Looking to Airhoff. And it's turned right back to Orpi. Colorado's up the wing, settling things. Point to point to point. Perfect connection right through center. Shoots one. Still off the mark. He's going to remember some of those chances when his head hits the pillow. Really good deflection. No harm. Chip to Green. Passing one off now to Franzen. And the puck is seized by Airhawk. The Flames carry through center. In wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. You don't get many great glove save. You can't ask for a better opportunity in the scoring zone. What a great glove save. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Big face-off win. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Directing that one to Matthias. Ripper, score! That's two unanswered goals. Thankfully, that shot did not hit the goaltender because that thing was labeled. His technique is good. The butterfly is really solid. He just gets beaten with a better shot here. The Avs have gotten one, but they still trail by an enormous score. Let's see if they can work on their flow, get their offense going, and maybe get a couple more to be more respected. Whipped over. Outstanding point blank save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net. But you score! They struck back fast, didn't they? Richards was right in front of the net, got it on his backhand and beat the goaltender. Gibson's positioning tells me he thought he had most of the net covered. The backhand is a tricky one to follow. Calgary's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. The Flames control from the neutral zone. Hit by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. Let's go, Rister. Boot it aside. The Avs controlling play through the neutral zone. Many yards gain to Thompson. What a save by Luongo. Up the wing with it now. It's dumped in. Puck is seized by Shea Weber. And now it's directed to Reeves. Moving it to Thompson. Oh, great chance. Brilliant save by Luongo. Pass cut, strong play. Pitching it to Chara. On to McGinn. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. A good cut of the pass. They can keep the pressure on. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Crosby's won again. Hit score! A pair of goals by the same team. You get to this high scoring area, a wrist shot is a great choice. Enzo, just because you're in the butterfly doesn't mean you can give in to the shooter. You still have to move. He looked like he thought he was in perfect shape to make the stop and didn't have to move. Bad guess. Calgary's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. A shot. What a save. Considering the shooter, that's usually in. Outstanding save with a glove. And he'll cover. Colorado's goaltending has been solid all year. When you look back at that last huge save, you know why. Good clean win on the draw. Wonderful save with a pass. Trying to go to Franzen. 
minute. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Oh, broken up. Cut control by Airhoff. Dumped in. One timer. Score! That's three in a row. Marshan skating ability got him to the high slot. He was ready with a stick on the ice and one timed it into the back of the net. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered, but there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Oh, and here's a three on two. Another solid pad save. Pass attempt to Kane. Puck control in the neutral zone by Kessler. Sticked away. Great job on a cut pass. Possession once again by Muzzin. Puck is thrown to Kessler. A giveaway. The Flames have been a turnover machine. That's why they have a huge lead in this game. Grab! Now that's a quick glove. Snapping a pass to Kessler. Slid to Phillips. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. Shoots. Score! Four in a row. When you get to this area of the ice, you got to get rid of that puck quickly, and he did. And so good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk-in. Calgary's got that neutral zone faceoff. Backhander to the net. Great bad stop. And possession snapped up by Sharp. Game over. It is a good thing there are extra digits that go all the way up high on both scoring and in shooting because those were challenged tonight. This was lopsided. Not a very good effort. Need to regroup. Or the coach and general manager are going to have a meeting. Teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.